hey what's up everyone this is new collector thank you for checking out another video today i am gonna try and um paint a mclaren p1 so i'm gonna take off the paint try to put a new paint on um using a like 30 plus year old um airbrush machine that um uh, my my pops my dad um bought pff, over 30 years ago i want to say and i just forgot that he had it and then i saw some customization of hot wheels and i was like "Ooh, i can definitely do that but i totally cannot you'll see um this is definitely not a tutorial um this is me my first time airbrushing anything so do not do what i do look at what i do and do exact opposite <laughs> you'll see later on on my i show you guys um how i airbrushed it what i did but yeah this is the mclaren p1 um the turquoise um colorway um so i'm just dribbling out some rivets um and they're gonna drop it in some um paint stripper so you'll see that oh right there don't forget hit that like subscribe button definitely comment and see tell me what i did wrong what i can do better and share please it's gonna help me out thank you so much but right now gonna be just drilling out the rivets um taking it apart putting it in some paint stripper and then we'll go from there thank you again for checking out this other video don't do what i do this is not how you paint I just took apart the McLaren P1. I'm gonna put it in this glass jar for a couple of hours um, in this paint stripping gel that I got from my local hardware store. I got it because I like the um, that it's not doesn't have a strong chemical smell. So, and it did work good. You just gotta leave it um, maybe an uh, 45 minutes. I think I did it for an hour, but it worked great. So I took it out of the paint stripper. It did really good. All I did was, I didn't film it, but all I did was get a green scarring pad. I saw people um, roughing it up. So I roughed it up, sanded it, made it super shiny, and then took it to my, my parents' house and set up the, um, the airbrush machine. And I bought this um, flat blue paint, you can kind of see. And I just taped it up. I wanted to do a half, um, half the car one color the other half the other color so two-tone so i just started painting just went right to it put the gun together put the paint in and just started blasting so remember this is not a tutorial this is probably what not how not to paint your hot wheels but i don't know i was just excited just started painting blasting away no technique use chopsticks well i am japanese but use chopsticks 
and they started going at it with this flat blue what i picked up at a hobby um company one of our have hobby company stores but i don't know i just like the paint and i just started blasting away as you can see i taped off the half part and try to make it like a like a slant design between the black um you'll see right after this and i'm gonna put the black on all right don't do it this way All right, so I just finished the blue side. Well, it just dried. I did maybe three coats of that flat blue on it, let it dry in the sun, taped it up, and just started shooting it with this black ink that my dad had for maybe 30 plus years. But it looked still all right. It was still liquid. So I just started pr um, spraying it. You'll see that it comes pretty black. I mean, it's shiny, but I didn't know what I was doing. I don't know if the settings was correct on my air gauges. I just started blasting away. It felt kind of strong, but I just kept on going, just moving it around on my chopsticks, trying to, you know, get every angle. I think I did about three or four coats of this. It took a long, it took way longer to dry. I guess it's the older style, but the, the other blue paint I bought, that was pretty fast to dry. But this black one, this old one, it took a long, long, way longer time to dry, but I did maybe three coats also. And then I'll show you the results after this. Remember, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is what, how not to paint your Hot Wheels. This is the final product. Try to do a two-tone. It did not come out that good. I think I, sp I sprayed some um, clear coat also. And then I got the mod my ride. I'll link his um, Instagram wheels. This is what it came out. Tried to come out. First time painting the airbrush machine. I say that airbrush machine is from my um, my pops bought that uh, thirty years ago maybe maybe more but it still works so. it's the p1 mclaren this was the turquoise strip the paint painted this like a matte blue supposed to be and black yep not good at all all right only can get better. Thanks for watching, guys. Aloha.